back here, friends. All right, we're back at the, the cow paddy town. We're just gonna slip down and grab the rest of this this wood, but them freaking cattle there, them great big sons of guns, they don't really move too much. You know what I'm saying? Hey? <laughs> Lisa's like, there's a cow there. Nope, there he goes. You guys see him there? Yeah. Well, there's, no, there he is. It's all good, buddy. We're not gonna get you. Hi, guys. How are we doing? Hi, Lise. Can you get out without your truck? Oh, yeah. I think so. Oh, yeah, he's got like 10 feet. He's just standing there being weird. Hey, what are you doing, bud? Don't be smacking up that truck with your horns. You keep on moving. I would appreciate it if you did. Okay, I, I'm nervous. So how about we keep moving? Because I'll bet you, see that right there? Yeah, exactly. Pretty pretty neat and sniffy, eh? Uh, February, March, see? Look at, hey, bud, don't do that. Because I see what you're doing. I'm going to have to get you to move along now. I saw you rubbing your horns on my tailgate, and I don't want that. I like you and all. Okay, don't do that. And start to look at me all goofy, see? Yeah. Anyways, I got to fire up a saw. I'm, this guy's giving me a little bit of tude this morning. It's kind of, so I'm going to get going. What's up? All right. So I want to run this, this saw right here, friends. Right now, we're going to go down there and uh, we're going to go buck a little bit off of this thing with this old home light. Let's see if this freaking animal will hit the road here. I'll bet you if I start the power saw, he'll take off. All right? Yeah, he, he's he's gonna, you, you know he is. All right. Okay.
Okay, that's that. Let's start throwing wood in the truck. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot, actually. Now, we're just gonna wood hook it, friends. Yeah. Somebody was asking about these, their wood hooks. See the ends, they've got barbs on them. See that, they're designed. See, they're designed, they got little barbs. And I'll show you why that is. Yeah, like I mean, right? I can throw those now. Yeah, so like I say, it's it's not hard wood to split. All right, so you'll see guys on their whatever's TikToks and Instagrams and all that, and they're trying to have some fun, which I totally agree with on the firewood thing. Um, and you'll see guys, they'll stack up all their wood in a row, you know, up the logging road or, or whatever. And that's what we actually used to do, friends, when you're in the firewood business. That's what you did. You tried to find a way to set your wood up so that when you smacked it, it wouldn't fall over. Am I not right, production firewood guys? Or any guy who's doing it, or gal, for that matter. This is not that hard, friends. So, it, it's not. Look at You see how I lined it all up? See the cracks? They're all facing me as I come at it. So, let's just play around have some freaking fun but don't get fooled friends this is not that hard oh friends this is not hard wood to split it's very easy very easy my plan is not to split it every one that's not my plan my plan is to go through crack them in half then come back and smack them again See, there's some knots, okay? Notice how these were easier? It's not that hard. Split wood, you can split wood. There you go. right there in the middle see this see how easy that was here I am banging away because I can't see it one little tweak and you're in another one there another one there right cow poop everywhere on my shoes See, if you don't look, you're gonna get stung. See this? Knots, both. We gotta shoot through the knot. I 
wants to go this way. You see, there's the wood hook. See, it's got stuff all over it, okay? That's what it is, and this is what it's for. It, it's a wonderful little tool. I've had it for years. It saves you so much pedaling around. You can, you can use it any way you like it. You got a bunch of wood to load in a truck, and it's 10, 15, you know, 12. You can't even see my truck. It's not even in the frame because it's way back there, friends. You see? So, could I take my back window out? Absolutely, I could. But you see what happens with these, eh? This is this is why they're so beautiful, these little hooks. And you can, look at it. It's a lovely little tool. Get yourself a set. I don't endorse it. I'm not sponsored by this, but I've been running these for years. Awesome. Friends, like I'm talking way back here. Here's the wood hook in action. I'm guaranteed 10, 12 feet away now. Guaranteed. Loosen her up. Right? It needed it. Or did I? Old school firewood guy. Uh, tricks of the trade. If you don't want to smash your window out, just go stack your freaking first row and then put some stuff up behind it so it doesn't fall over when you're maneuvering around to get the rest of this stuff. And this, especially when you're using the wood hooks. I use the wood hooks a lot, friends. Like, a lot, a lot. I keep them on my, on my every job I go on. Because when you're dealing with firewood, especially in these cow patties, you don't even, you know what I mean? You get, you get these hooks down, you get a handle on these hooks, friends. It's like you can, you really, look at, look at this, I'm twisted up. Any angle you, you know what I'm saying? So this is a lovely tool. You don't even have to manhandle it if you don't want, but it's easier to manhandle it like this because if you don't, it sticks into the wood and it can end up not where you want it. So that's why I use that second hand. But if you want to just flick it, don't, don't jab the wood as hard and you got to give it a flick. But then what happens, it's harder on the body. So just use that second hand to give it one of these. A little touch like that. You're, you're bent over, you're in one spot. See me, ergonomic, I'm just, I'm bent at the knees, and that's it. I could do a whole pile here, just where I'm sitting. Look at me, I haven't moved. 
See that? Take a step. You know what I'm saying, friends? So, if, if you've never used a wood hook, don't go spouting off about your, your pickaroon. This is not a pickaroon job. Don't kid yourself. It, this is not a job for the pickaroon. A job for the pickaroon is pulling wood out of the truck, right? So, you see what I mean? It just, and you don't have to have a big piece of wood. Look at that, you know? Anyway, you can use them for all kinds of things. Look at this, right friends? You're backing up to a load of firewood. I, I highly recommend these. You can whip wood. See, we're, we're starting to, we're starting to get by it. We're starting to get quite a ways away now. We're probably eight feet from the truck, six, eight feet. I'm still right here with you, right? So here's the ergonomic thing about it. Think about this. Your hand is like this the whole time. Not like this with slippery wood with no bark and you're trying to grip things. I've done that probably a million times now over the years. You can actually get carpal tunnel from that squeezing wet wood. I actually cracked Hogan in the head with a piece years ago. That's not a word of lie. I felt so horrible. It was on my wife and I's anniversary and I was loading a load out before we went. And, uh, and I got him, it flicked off the truck. And that's exactly what happened to me. He was standing there. He was standing right there. And I said, I, I'm not going to hit my kid. I'm not going to be that guy. And I went like this, friends. It slipped out of my hands, hit the side of the truck like this, bounced back and corked him right straight in the forehead. He had a dent in his head. You know. But that's not a joke. He'll tell you. I corked him and I, I just about got sick, physically sick. Anyway, he was fine, but imagine if I had cracked him in the cheekbone or the eye or the nose, broken. Garrett Ronteed. So friends, the wood hooks are the, the cat's meow. I'm telling you. You know, you get two, get three, get whatever. Well, you don't got three hands, but I'm telling you, we're, we're almost done this freaking problem. I don't even need to back up right now. You guys are the ones that need to back up, not me. See, here's the end of our pile. I am ways away from the freaking truck, friends. Like I'm talking way back here. Here's the wood hook in action. I'm guaranteed 10, 12 feet away now. Guaranteed. Loosen her up. Right? Now the fear, the fear here. Oh, I just dented the truck. Or did I? Yeah, I did. That's good. We're freaking 10 feet away. Once you get the right, you know what I mean? The right grab on it. You get into a rhythm. You keep it nice and low. See that? Nice little fleck. We're freaking done here. That's a lovely saw. So check this out, friends. My buddy from the Toronto Fire Department. Look at this character. I think it's Kenny. I think his name's Kenny, if I'm not mistaken. Sent me some super nice stuff. And my buddy, El Campo Tree Service. Look at this, friends. Toronto. Huh? Come on, friends. Firefighting sons of guns. Love you guys. Thank you. Some t-shirts here. But this guy's from California, IA, and I want to go cut redwoods bad. Look at this character. If you're in this area with that area code, all I know is this guy's in his 60s, and he's got the business, and he's a freaking good guy. I don't even have to freaking see his work to know that he's a good man. I spoke with the guy. Check him out. El Campo Tree Service. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know what it is. You, you get a good feeling, you get a good feeling. You see that right there? You, you know what that is? That's that wood from Lisa's friends, okay? It's from Lisa's. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is that a piece of heartwood? Oh, there's my wife coming up in Rita's car, friends. This is crazy timing. Do you know what she went and did? On Facebook, I think they call it Marketplace or something. Here she is. She went and 
This is crazy. It's going to sound crazy. She went and bought a, a shirt, friends, off a lady, and she said there was 40 people. She won't like this. She doesn't like the camera when it's off guard like this, but I'm going to, I'm going to show you the shirt. Honey, this is crazy timing. I told people about the shirt that you went to got, and you just pulled in the driveway. And guess what? You didn't get it. Nope. She left. I didn't. I started driving there, and I was like, "Oh, I forgot to check." Oh, but she still has it. Yeah. Oh, oh, good. So she finished school early. I and told she you. Did not wait for me. Exactly. So you just went for a drive, basically. Well, I did exchange a shirt at Valley Village. Son of a gun. We're gonna get this really cool shirt, and you will see it when we get it. Yeah, you see what I mean? Wendy found this. It's like an old school. This is this is this is Canadian stuff. This old stuff made in Canada. It's like, sorry, friends. Um, it's a medium thermal king. Yeah, the dry clean only. And who knows? But that is an old shirt, friends. That the thermal kings. It is. It's old, and the buttons are all there, and it's probably got a spare. Somewhere, maybe it's been ripped off at that time. They used to send them with spare buttons, but it's just, this is the, I love this material. Yeah, see, I've got the same shirt, friends. I do, I got the same shirt. Oh, what a bonus. Yeah, see, friends? So here, here's, I mean, th these are all vintage. I, I don't know if this, it, no, it's not. I think this would be a different brand, to be honest, friends. Let's, let's look, though. Um... Yeah, well, maybe, maybe it is Thermal King. He, the tab is gone. It actually looks very similar, but no, it's different, I think. Regardless, friends. Oh, it's got buttons. No, I think they're a little different. I just think it might be a different shirt. It's got a, this one's a little thicker, hun. Mine's a little thicker. Anyways, all vintage, friends. So I get, I get folks asking me a lot about these buck and where do you get friends they they are like vintage all that stuff's vintage come from a fisherman or a friend of the family or or a uh that was just saying russ had them in every color yeah numerous her styles. her brother's a fisherman and he yeah. now now he's a, just picked and chose the good ones and donated yeah. all right exactly so yeah now you know what I mean? If this is my life. I've lived in this stuff forever. It's like my security blanket. This red one is anyways. I kind of joke. I say it's my security blanket. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, I don't have too much more, but I wanted to show everybody that, excuse me, that we got Lisa cleaned up and out of there. Uh, so we're done there on that particular snag. I think I, I think I grabbed that chunk of firewood out of the back and I got one more thing to show you before we end this video and get it out to you for hopefully for dinner time for you or maybe a little after dinner and uh thank you for having me in your homes and letting your kids watch the videos and as a family i have a mission this year it's going to be ramped up a ton i'm going to do some traveling friends uh, i'll be back down i've got an axe that i want to try on some hardwoods down your way Work hard, be honest, and for heaven's sakes, be kind. And don't be afraid to love. It's okay to love people and show love and show kindness. It's, it's, not, it's not weakness, it's actually the opposite. It's an odd one, it's, a, it's a sometimes strange, more so for men to grasp, but you actually become stronger. If you think you're a strong man, we already know you're a strong man, we know you're strong. You will become stronger if you're vulnerable in certain ways. It, it, it makes you stronger. It might be hard for you to understand, but the freedom you get, you become stronger and free. See you on the next video. Check out this freaking firefighter's hat, and I'll send you out with this, friends. I love you all. Anyways, you know I cut this tree down a week and a half ago. Two weeks probably now but i i picked up the last little bit of firewood in leases where the, them uh, highlanders are them cattle them scottish cattle so here's the deal friends okay you, you can really see it here 
the sapwood is on the outside, okay? And this is where all the wet moisture and all that is in, the, in these trees, in, in all trees, actually. The, 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 you can see it right there. Perfect. Look at this. See the color difference right there? Shiklanko. Shapumpa, Shiklanka. Right? Indeed. This is dry, even when the tree's alive. It's dead. Now, I want to show you something. We're bringing this inside the house right now. We're going to throw it on the stove. Yeah, right now. Frank, there goes that. Um, I can't help being excited. Like, yeah, not listening. No, no. Just all of a sudden I got in the car and I was like, shoot, I forgot to check. I know. And then, uh, but what's terrible is... Here it goes. Hassle. Facebook hassle. Oh, yeah, and it's pretty... Watch this. See that stuff? Watch this. Such a hassle. It is a hassle. You're absolutely right. Okay, so there it goes. Right off the tree into the stove. Right off the tree, friends, okay? So for starters, if you watch... See under, oh, there it goes, it's already lighting up. Underneath the, underneath the uh, log, the pitch is lighting up, like lighting up. Friends, if you throw a piece of wood in a, in a hot fire, it should catch within 30 seconds. Like see over there, wood, dry wood should catch, okay? You, you know there's some moisture in this just because it's being outside. We'll come back here in a few minutes. That thing's gonna be roasting. Okay, friends, you see, you see what I'm saying? It's li literally, my wife just sat down. Hi, honey. There it is. Y y see the pitch? Just roasting in there. You know, friends, uh, well, I know I, it's been a while. I, I got to be honest, it's been a long time since I've seen you. Well, I call me the drifter, and there's a reason for it, friends. I do a lot of drifting. I uh, My last drift, of course, down that long highway was on my bike again with the squint on. Of course... When the bugs are low in the winter time, low, you know what I'm talking about? When the bugs get low in the winter time, you can crack your eyes a little. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not traveling. I don't know. Well, well, well. You know who you are. You know what I mean? I don't know why you don't have any earmuffs. Is that because you might hear the walls crashing down on you and the fire? Is that what it is? I'm a hack, okay, I am, I'm a hack, but in my hackiness, I've come a long way. And for no other reason than I used to go around and travel around with my drumsticks in my back pocket, 
on walks, like nature walks, or at the restaurant, I would be under the table going. You know what I mean? So I wanted to be a better drummer for my mom's music at that point. That's as my for myself too, but more so for my mom. strong necks to hold up that sucker all day long. District Chief Tirana. Thank you, buddy. I just can't even freaking believe it. Just can't believe it. That's freaking heavy is what that is. Okay, I just saw something. And I gotta check it out. <laughs> 